So. Well, I was already, because um, my, I mean, Nashville was at that point considered a lot more of a, I mean, I really feel like we've got a great city and it's a music city and people think of it as music city, you know, and, and we've got rock and we've got R&B and we've got, of course, country and we've got roots rock and we've got a uh, singer songwriter and we've got folk and all this stuff. And it feels like a pretty diverse city now, but it really felt like a country city that had some other stuff at that, at that point. It felt like a, a country music city and country music has always been the one flavor of music that I'm not too fond of. So the idea of staying in Nashville was never very um, appealing to me. So um, the uh, my whole plan was once I get through Belmont, I'll move to either New York or LA because that's where I did read enough of the credits to know that the records I liked the right. most were either made in New York or LA. So that's where I wanted to go. Um, but it, my last year of college, I started doing um, demos for a couple of different uh, uh, publishers and uh, and was making enough money when I graduated to uh, and doing enough projects on the side and uh, I was able to bring projects into Belmont which I know was against the rules but we could bring <laughs> bands in there <laughs> and uh, and record and you would charge the band <clears throat> 150 bucks or whatever to record from midnight to seven in the morning and I didn't have to give anything to the school I booked like a project so I was made 150 bucks which I was thrilled to make 150 bucks yeah. in a night and I did that all the time but I was making enough money to stay alive when I got out of school so the idea of um I was afraid to move to LA or, or New York because I didn't want to feel like I was going to a place where I didn't know a soul right and uh I was making a living here I mean not a good living I was my first year out of school, I wanted so bad to break the 10,000 mark and I didn't quite make it. I think I made like $9,980 or something in the year. Um, but at the same time, that was enough money to pay. I didn't have a car payment. I paid just had rent and, and there were plenty of weeks where I bought a loaf of bread and a jar of peanut butter and a jar of honey and, and yeah. that was enough, you know. And uh, and uh, But I did that from the get-go. I never waited tables. I never did anything else except for, for music. So I was pretty... Uh, Pretty excited about about that. Um. 